What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to pause updates for any game or app on Steam, whether an update's coming out that breaks mods, like the recent one for Fallout 4, or it's something like Beat Saber where things break every update. This is an important thing to know, at least so we can defer updates until much later on. It's very simple to do. Simply head across to Steam, then find the game that you're trying to pause updates for, in my case it's Fallout 4, right click it, choose properties, and we'll head across to the updates tab over here. What we're looking for is the app ID. Each different game and app on Steam has a different unique app ID, and we'll need to remember which one this is in just a moment so we can pause updates for it. Head across to the installed files tab on the far left and choose browse in the top right so we can navigate across to where the game is installed. What we'll do is head back to folders, so we'll go to common, followed by Steam apps, and in here, you'll see a bunch of different app manifest files for each of the different games that you currently have installed. What we're doing is looking for app manifest underscore followed by the number that we saw previously. So tapping back to it, updates, you can see Fallout 4's ID is 377160. We're looking for app manifest 377160, which is right here. All you need to do in order to pause updates for a specific game is right click it, choose properties, and at the very bottom you'll see attributes, read only, make sure that this is ticked, then choose apply and OK. The next time the game goes to update, you'll see in Steam that it gives you a disk error and it won't be able to install the actual update even if it does successfully download update files. So whether you're trying to update a game manually or it's automatically updating, it just won't install the update at all, leaving you frozen in time until you decide to come back to this folder, right click the same ACF file, properties, and uncheck read only, apply, OK, then you'll be able to fully update whatever game you've currently paused updates for. As the update for Fallout 4 breaks pretty much all of the mods, this is what I'd recommend you do until you're happy updating when all of the mods have updated themselves. Just remember you've actually done this to your game, as in the future, if you're getting some kind of disk error, it's likely not your hard drive exploding, and it's probably just the fact that this file is still read-only. Just to show you exactly what happens, I've got a couple of games over here that are ready to update, including, say, Jackbox Party. Our properties, updates, and we'll pause updates for 100, 5300. So we'll navigate across to where it is, over here, back to folders to Steam Apps, find the ID, which is over here, properties, and read only apply. Now when we go to update this game, you'll see that we head across to the downloads tab, disk write error. That's it, it didn't actually download any files, and it's been permanently paused in time until we uncheck this, apply, OK, and bam, now the game, whatever it is, will update properly. It was a very small update, so it finished super quickly, but there you go. So that's it. Hopefully this video helped you. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.